Howdy. What you're looking at here? Well, first of all, this is a lot closer because I'm playing with uh, with my tripod and my GoPro to see if I can get a better view of, of the pistols. This is a 22 uh, rimfire uh, short uh, made by Colt. Now I know that because at the top here, see if I can bring it, bring it into. Oh, come here, light. You come over here. Okay. See if I can bring it. I know it's not working either. Let me see. How's that? Uh, if I can bring it into focus. It's probably not in focus. And I'm, I'm playing with a GoPro, so uh, it's this crap camera. <laughs> I, I don't understand this thing. Never did understand it. But it says Colt Patent Firearms Company. Uh, uh, Hartford... Connecticut, which I think is right. And then the only other markings on this, it was obviously, by the way, nickel plated on copper or brass. And uh, you can tell that on both sides. It used to be all shiny and nickely, but uh, the, uh, the brass underneath shows through in several places. Also, look, look at these grips. They're all rosewood. They're just gorgeous. But the only other serial on it I mean, the serial number is the only other marking, and it's here on the on the base, and it is uh, two nine, I know two two nine five nine six zero two two nine six zero. That's my serial number on this. Well, I'll leave in the in the uh, comment or not the comments, the uh, description section below a web link. If you have any Colt product, period, bar none, you you go to this link and plug in your serial number. You can then see any serial number of any Colt that was made with that serial number. And this one, by looking it up, there are two possibilities. One is the 1874 Open Top Pocket Model 22. Well, this is not an open top. It's a pin. The cylinder is held in with a pin. So that hap happens to have been the 1876, was it 1870? Yes, New Line 22. So what this is, is an 1876 New Line 22. It's nice to have a uh, some kind of a uh, resource so you can look these things up. Back in my day, if you had a, a Colt revolver, you would have to write the archivist at the Colt uh, archive. Some of them, them, I think it was 40 or 50 bucks. They'd look it up and print up this really ornate letter saying, this is what we know about it, uh, where it came from, what, when it was made, when we sold it, and who it went to. <clears throat> well, I did that for my uh, great-grandfather's pistol, and I do have the archive letter on it. I don't think I'll get an archive letter on this one, but it just it's just nice to be able to know something about the history. Now, I know that it was of an 1876 design. That's late 19th century, but it's still 19th century, and that's kind of cool. Anyway... Uh, I'll, I'll leave a link to that archive site if you're interested. 